If you like the video, feel free to subscribe. It would really help the channel, and we have battle reports, boarding actions, and list videos every week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. First off, thank you all so much. By the time this comes out, the channel might have already hit 1,300 subscribers, something that seems so far off when I start the channel late November 2023. At the start of 2024, I had 11 subscribers. Once again, thank you so much. I've not put out a channel update in a few months, so I figured it was about time to give an update on the channel. Finally have the new studio set up to play regular 40k games and boarding actions. I have an idea I am going to start for videos for Friday, more about that later in the video. I am starting to get a focus on what I want on the channel and which content I truly enjoy making. I have no intentions of stopping, only growing the channel more and more. I hope you all will be around for the journey. I want to keep the Custodes as the main faction of the channel with Space Marine Salamanders second. I love list building, the app right now has no less than 15 lists. I want to keep the focus on list videos, whether it be competitive lists or fun wacky lists to try in casual games. I have added the Grey Knights to the list of factions I cover, but not to the same extent of Custodes or Salamanders. My daughter plays the World Eaters I have, we just got Angron painted up. I will put out a list video or two for them as well, they are a lot of fun to play. I want a shooting faction in my collection. I do have some Tal, more so a lot of the battle suits, but Laura, aka Blushing Noise Marine, is our current Chaos Space Marine, Imperial Guard, and Tal player. I still will play the Tal maybe once or twice on the channel with that particular list, but I may try an actual shooting army, and I have an idea of what it might be. We, of course, will still have battle reports. It's the whole reason I created the channel. I want to have at least one battle report a week and one boarding action as battle report. At the very least, we'll have one battle report a week. The new studio is nothing too special yet, but it is a place where I can have a board and table set up all the time, plus a place where I can customize and add things to make the videos better. I have some shelves set up for all the models with a table on some blocks underneath since most tables are too short for my 6 foot 6 self with a bad back. I have been making battle reports for about 10 months now and I still love it. It allows me to play once a week and share the great and fun games with you all. I have played with different time lengths for the battle reports. I always wanted to have them edited down to make them a fun and watchable experience. Right now with the tech I have, I found around 30 minutes is a good length for the battle reports. That way I can get the dice rolls in, the movement in, a lot of the action in, and still be a relatively quick and watchable experience. The new studio is set up to have full length 30 minute battle reports. I will still have a few recap battle reports but I want to add a few things to those as well to make them a bit more interesting for you to watch. Because sometimes I do play at different people's places, then those recap reports are just easier to record there. But over here in the studio, we do have a better setup. If anyone has any ideas for a smaller channel with a lower budget to enhance the video, sound, or studio quality, we are always open to some ideas. Let's talk about Flamestorm Friday. I do not want to cover the entire Space Marine faction, when I started at Warhammer at the end of 9th, my first army was Salamanders. I want to cover Salamanders mostly as the Firestorm Assault Force Detachment. I may try the Gladius Salamanders list. I have a few ideas cooking. I started the channel covering Custodes and Salamanders. Salamanders do well on the channel are a popular choice for new players. I want to help our new players and our competitive brothers in flame. I will have Flamestorm Friday to cover any Space Marine Salamander content I might be working with. And this Flamestorm Friday is going to be a deep dive on the aggressors, particularly the Flamestorm aggressors. So if you're interested in Salamanders, Friday is going to be the day for you. Now to end with some final thoughts. I wanted to update everyone on the status of the channel and future plans for the channel. I want to upload three to four times a week. I want to eventually add a shooting army and I'm leaning towards knights since they can ally into the three factions covered on the channel. Yes, they are a stat check army. But it's something fun just because I'm not going to play a shooting army all the time. I just like melee. It's always something I liked in fantasy games. I've always picked the melee character. So having some big stomping knights to shoot around with might be a little bit fun. Plus I can put some of these knights in some of my 
salamanders or grain arts or even custodies list so it'll give me some more options in battle reports and list building so i like to have experience with the models before i throw them the list or at least a little bit of an idea of what they can do and like i said any low cost ideas to improve the battle reports or videos are appreciated i want to keep improving the channel any way i can stay tuned for more custody content during our custover month and salamanders on flamestorm friday subscribe for more warhammer 40k content and consider becoming a member to help out the channel you do get access to the discord and early access to videos and i would like to have a member list that i do play on the channel randomly draw one and play that on the channel i think that would be fun and something interesting for channel members and like i always say thanks for watching thanks for stopping by Thank you.